Hi Fixer family, it's Charmin. And on today's video, we are doing another project in this guest bathroom spruce up. I'm standing in front of my plain white shower curtain and getting ready to do something fun to it. Welcome to Fixin' To. curtain before we did anything to it. Bland, right? You are going to be amazed at what we do with my silhouette, contact paper, and a little bit of paint. Let's get started. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually raise this shower curtain up. Now this is just a, a, a tension shower curtain and so when I raise it up, because it's been here for a minute, it may cause some paint to come off or whatever, and I may have to touch that up, but that's okay. But we're gonna go ahead and raise this up a bit and um, then go from there. and just make sure that we are getting it even on both sides. So now we're going to take the shower curtain off of the rings. do something fun with this. So let me tell you about the fun thing that we are going to do with the shower curtain. I have created stencil and I am going to stencil monogram onto the shower curtain. Now of course um, because of I don't have a huge vinyl cutting machine. I had to split it to have it big enough to look right on the shower curtain. So we're going to stencil today and I'm going to show you how to place this on here, find your center point, all the fun stuff to get it and make it look so cute. So let's get started. The first thing that you want to do, of course, is find the center of your shower curtain. And the best way to do that is to fold it into fours. So we have folded it in half, long ways this way, and then we're going to fold it into half the long way here. And so what that's going to do is this corner here, which is the, um, not the open side, but the other side, that's going to give you your center point. So I'm going to take the straight pin and I'm just going to kind of open it up right here and put a pin in it just so I know exactly where it is. So I've got that there, and now we're gonna open it up and begin to place our monogram. There is my center point. My shower curtain top is up here, and so we're going to place the monogram here. So, so basically what I have done is I've split the elm and so I'm going to cut it straight across here on the before I take it off the transfer um, and get this so that when we marry them together, they will be ready to paint. It will look like this because that is the center of my monogram. Let's begin to place it on there. Now, as we get ready to prepare this by, you know, putting it onto the fabric, 
Of course, we're going to pull the backing off of the template and then just begin to kind of press it into the fabric as best we can. Now, the contact brand contact paper that I'm using for the template does not stick as well to fabric as it does other surfaces, flat surfaces like wood or glass or other things like that, but it will stick. And the clear contact brand contact paper that I use as the transfer sheet um, is kind of sticky as well. So you just have to take your time and um, just slowly pull it off um, a little bit at a time and it will work perfect. So now that it's on, we're going to just smooth it out and of course we're going to do our Mod Podge technique that's going to help to seal it so that we can help with the bleeding. Let's put the other one on and I'll be right back with you. So basically I'm taking a sponge brush and dipping it into Mod Podge using the um, matte finish Mod Podge and um, using the sponge brush and doing the dabbing motion um, all the way around in your, and what this help does is it helps to kind of create a base and also to kind of limit the um, bleeds that you have. Now we're hoping that we have none, but every now and then you might have a little, but this kind of helps that to take place. So once you get it on, you'll let it completely dry and then you'll be ready for paint. Using the same motion, dabbing motion, and pour us some paint over here, and we're just going to take and not put a whole lot on the brush, kind of offloading it some, and then um, pushing it into the template. So. of truth. I think it turned out amazing. And so now I'm ready to, we're going to also do some, um, it's kind of like the vine or um, I don't know what they're called but we're going to do those on either side of them so that'll be a finished product there and uh, we'll see what it looks like when it's totally done. Well guys project number three is complete and I couldn't be more happy with the way that it turned out. Who would have thought what a little bit of paint and a stencil would do? It has given this white shower curtain such character. And guys, if this is the first time to my channel, welcome, we're so glad that you are here. Make sure that you hit that little subscribe button right down there and the notification bell that's right next to it and become a part of the Fixer family. We would love to have you. And also by hitting that notification bell, you'll be notified each time I upload new videos. So guys, this has been such fun so far. We've got one more project to go and I'm excited to show you that as well as showing you the completed guest bathroom spruce up. So guys, always remember to keep looking up because that's where it all is. I'll see you on the next video.